Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So now I found one of the rockets. Let's go and see if we can find that rocket I found. It's uh I think it's not very far away, actually. I think it's just over here. There we go. So as you can see, when the, this was a satellite, I'm not sure which this one was actually. I think it might have been the one to send up the space station, but I thought I put an advanced tension on that. So the first thing we have to do is disassemble this thing. So we can shift right click it and disassemble. And then we can simply pick it up again. So if I hold down the or excavation key, we should be able to just pick it all up. So we should have then the parts which we've got, yeah, the fuel tanks, the engine and the satellite bay. And hopefully the next one will also return. I used I don't know how long it it takes to return. It can be sort of like human days or Minecraft days. I just don't really know what the what the rule for it is. I think it's fairly random. Anyway, it's obviously night time because the little mobs are going crazy. Um, so let's put this little rocket down here again. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rocket yet, but I prepared the other stuff anyway just in case. I might change the engine to being a, an advanced engine. Let's climb on top of this rocket. And that should be able to. Oops. And what I can do, of course, is climb up on top of this and then f finish it off this way. And then that's ready to be assembled again, which we can, which we can do because I built another assembly machine over here. So let's scan it, and you'll see that the thrust is plenty and the fuel is actually that I seem to remember. Let's go and build another engine. Let's go and build the advanced engine. So let's go back to the overworld and see what the difference is. So we want the advanced engine. I think we can make this one. What were we missing there? We were missing the titanium iridium alloy plates. So have I got some of those? Oh yes, we've got nine. So let's take six of those. Make those into plates. I'm not sure if we've got other uses. Let's have a look at the other uses. Rods and gears. And then for this engine. Am I looking at the right ones here? Have we got the right? No, I think I've got the wrong guns. I think I need the titanium iridium ones and I've got the wrong ones. Let's go back. Yes, I have. So what's the other one? Ah, this one here. So that would actually be build three more engines, which would we would need. Uh, oh no, actually we need twelve plates. Let's get rid of those and shove these through the compressor here. We'll just go through fairly quickly. And then shortly after that, we'll go and have a look at the, the rocket itself, uh, the space station itself, because we've got to go and build one more thing on that. We might as well prepare the parts while we're here as well. I'm not sure if I've done this already. I will be honest with you. Rocket. So, let's check those stats again. So everything's on the on the line, just green, ready, clear for liftoff, and the thrust is quite tight, it's 10. So let's replace this put down the advanced one and then scan this and you see here the fuel is a lot better the acceleration is faster and the weight is the same as you would expect but the th thrust is 50 instead of 10 so there you are so that actually allows you to put up much bigger rockets with fewer engines which is pretty good really let's go back to the let's go back to the base And let's have a look at doing the bits that we need for the rest of this. Let's get rid of these things. We don't need these with us. Let's put the engine in here. I've got. I didn't need to make one, did I? I've got one already. Um, 
Yes, we need the hologram projector here, because what we need to then make on the spaceship would be the warp core. This one. So what do we need for that? Warp core. We've built one of those titanium blocks. 15 titanium blocks. Okay. Fifteen. Two blocks of gold, one input hatch, and one four machine structures. Actually, that's not too difficult. Titanium blocks. I've actually managed to. I actually thought I'd build this, make a seed. I suspect the seed is the same as everything else. Oh, that gives me two. In terms of patterns, is what I meant. So we need a load of this stuff. Let's get out at least two stacks of this to start with. Put one in this pulverizer because that's a slow one. I'll put one in this this pulverizer here, which is the fast one. And the room will move this out of the way. We should still be able to see what we need from that. So that's for the titanium blocks. Let's do see, you can actually bash these away, but like that. Oh, oh, there is something else that's happened while they were waiting for those to go on. Yeah, I've now got, um, this is not coming in very fast. And there was a bug reported about the crystal lens. And it says in 209, which is the version that is standard, I think it, the current one's now, and 14.1 is 210, it's been fixed. So 210 and higher has been fixed, which I upgraded that, and then I got the digital guide. So the digital guide is what we got in the last, it, forever stranded. And then you get the environmental tag here. Fortunately, it's not got very much information in it. So you just click it on here, and you can you can go through the different types of blocks and the tiers. It tells you about the assembling machine here, to the assembler. Left clicking to tells you the requirements. Spam right clicking builds it. Shift right clicking breaks any multi-block structures in survival. A bit strange that one. Then you've got the not very much description about this, but a little bit of description about lightning rods. And that's it. So, not very useful at the moment. <laughs> but I'm sure it's going to have more information in later on. So he's obviously doing the, that. So later versions will get more information than that. So let's come over here. Alright, that's already done. We've got 64 there. And we should have 64. Pulverizer. Oh, yes, of course, it's got an input bus on the back, so. Keep forgetting about that. But that's full. Let's go and put all of these into here now. Probably not much point in doing that because it's a bit too slow, that interface, anyway. But it does sort of help. Now we need 15 blocks of titanium. Of course, I forgot to take the ingots out of here. I don't know how we get I'm going to shift click them. 37, fine. The reason I'm shift clicking them is I was thinking, oh, let's just. Divide these by two, so we need fifteen. If you want the, if you want the ingots back, just shift click them out like that, and then we've got our fifteen blocks of titanium. That wasn't too difficult. So the next thing is um, an input hatch, wasn't it? So we need a chest. I think we've probably got an input hatch anyway. So let's have a look. We need four of these. We've only got one left. Look at the rest of that then. Oh, it actually worked this time. It doesn't always work, to be honest with you. I don't understand that either. So what else do we need? Machine structures, four of those. Blocks of gold, two input hatch. Titanium, yeah, we got everything we need. Lots of gold. So the other thing we need actually to drive this thing is Dilithium crystals. Now I think we made some, didn't we? But you need a lot. 
that's the input actually, that's the output actually, we've got 61. It does actually allow us to travel a little bit, but not very far. So let's make some more of those while we're thinking, while I'm thinking about it. Anyway, so what do we need for that? Um, let's have a look at the recipe for these. So we need the lithium dust, which is made by smelting. I suspect we can put that into a pulverizer. We get two, good. So let's get some lithium out of right here. My inventory is a bit full. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change my suit off. But I don't think we need the suit, but we'll see. Oh yes, that's my wireless. That's my infantry wireless. Wooster card looks quite cool, though, doesn't it? <laughs> So let's get some more we got from in here in Dilithium. 425 blocks of this stuff. That's going to give us a lot of Dilithium. So let's just simply put that into here. And the other one we can put into there. Put this back into here like this. And then we go through that process again. I don't think there's much use for the dust itself except for dismelt. So now we're getting quite a lot of. I should really get. A, I should really set a recipe for this, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's do that. There is another way to do this. So they're using an ME interface on here. We can actually simply process all the materials, but that might not be ideal in all cases. I and mean, you could just do an export bus to do that. Well, that's probably probably empty enough now to put some more in. Good. So now, so the lithium dust, 220. I get three stacks worth. Let's go and put those into the into the machine. We should be able to put four stacks into here, and they'll come out in here. But. While that's doing that, and let's empty this one out of it because it's about to be fairly full by now. That might as well take all of this out of it and all of this out of it and put the rest of it in here because it goes so much faster. I'm just hesitating. I don't need to really hesitate, there's no reason for it. Just thinking, let's just put the rest of the stuff in here. Maybe I should automate that. Anyway, let's go to the let's go to the space station now. I have set up a warp stone on the space station, but it's too far away. So we need some more XP. I've also set up a, an XP on the an XP thing on the on the space station anyway. We've got plenty of oxygen. So now we can go to the space station. And I've set up the, the CO2 scrubbers up here. And it says oxygen trace. I'm not 100% sure what that means. If I take my helmet off, we can breathe. And when I take my helmet back on again, I think it says it's not breathable. Oh, yes, it does. Breathable, yes. Okay, good. So we can actually breathe in this place now. Because when you set it up, it takes a while before that becomes active. So what I want to do with the warp core is to put it down. I'm not sure how big it is. I think it's not that big. We've got a choice. We can put it out, down outside. We can put it down in here. Let's just try putting it down. Does it tell me how big it is in this? No, it doesn't. I think it's about a 5x5. Five five. Oh, actually, that looks like a good position, doesn't it? Let's put down the titanium blocks. So it's a three by, th it's a three by three possibly. I think it's a three by three. This thing. Block of gold. Ah, oh, so it's two layers, isn't it? And then the warp core. We should have a warp core in the bag. I hope. Didn't check. Should have done. Yeah. 
when you built this thing it looks really cool it's one of those think about advanced rocketry it does have some really interesting textures so we need machine structures here uh, okay and a block of gold here so let's put the block of gold down machine structures I hope I've got enough height. <laughs> I haven't thought about that. It's four. The ceiling is four high, so maybe I'm just just in luck. I'm not. I'm not hundred percent sure. Anyway, let's put the next layer down. Okay, this is the input hatch into titanium blocks. Okay, good. Sort of makes a lot of sense. And of course we've got the eight titanium blocks which go around the edges like this. And that's it, structure complete. Let's right click this and this is what it looks like. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? You've got your input hatch here. So what you do is put some mechanism in here to feed the dilithium crystals into here. Let's do that. Um, what shall we use? Let's use a small storage crate. Possibly a bit expensive for this, but uh, I can see that, can I? <laughs> Got the input hatch. I'm moving around too much. I'll press shift on that one. No, I've got to press shift on it one. at the same time. It's going up. Oh, that's a bit tough. There we go. So now we can put the lithium crystals in here, and they should actually be taken in. I think oh no that's not gonna work is it well that's, I need to put them into the in input oh, let's just pick this up again but what I can do with this is put it at the front in fact have we got a chest it would be a lot nicer if we got a chest oh we've got two of these anyway could use a basic drawer Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put it at the front here. What I think is the front. <laughs> it's a bit it's actually quite difficult, you're sort of moving around. Oops, missed. But I can use that as a base for the other one. Let's take that off there. Where was it here? That makes life a bit easier. And we can break this one away. Oops, I just broke the wrong structure. Oh, I've just broken the air, and that probably will. Oh, gosh, it's gone outside. And you see, it's the air is going out of this. So let's just repair this quickly. It seems that we've still got breathable air in here. Which is a good thing. Actually, it's probably easier to do it like this, isn't it? Thinking about it. So let's put a pipe on. Let's put an item, item duct on that. Item dropped opaque will do just fine. So that connects up nicely. So all I need then is a servo. We can reach the server from here. Nope. I'm hitting I'm hitting the I'm hitting the chest which isn't so great. There we go. Let's activate that. So then I should be able to put into that the crystals again and put this plot back again and rebuild it. Like that. So in here there should be nothing left in here. And in the input hatch we'll probably find nothing in either. Yeah. So we should then see how much power we've got on the warp controller like this. It says it's not ready. Core status is not ready. I was just picking a planet. So let's go on to select the planet. So what do you do to select a planet? Is you come to your solar system here, and our current planet is Earth, which is that one. But we could go to say this one, which is Sol Ten, two moons. You select the planet. You select uh, 
so I'll turn yeah that'll do select then it tells you the warp cost here is 184 and well, I think we've only got 61 in there so we haven't got enough if I'm not mistaken that's what it means so it says it's not ready I think that's all we have to do is there anywhere nearer we could actually select and pick warp I don't want to actually warp there I just want to see it, so it going ready because otherwise we <laughs> might have a bit of a problem select planet so we are where are we here with a better look there should be a planet that's quite near I think it's Sol 5 select so this time it's 71 so it's still not enough so we can either go back to earth and get some more and here I've set up this tank system here too so I've got a, a drum of ex experience and then gigantium drum of experience underneath it that's just a store and what I was hoping for is that this gets filled up it's actually not getting filled up at the moment don't ask me why and here I've got a pressure brakes what have I got on oh, I've got my suit on so we can actually go outside like that of course we go fairly high because we've got the jetpack on like that So that's basically that. So I don't know whether there's anything. I would like to f go go on, at least go on one trip. Oh, go through there. Let's go back to um, the other world. See if we've got enough dilithium to go to somewhere. Oh, and this was my. This was here. I was basically put a block placer down with some prosperity shard in it because I was making some more. Um, 64 more draconium cores. So maybe I'll think about doing some more uh, draconium or oh, overpowered quests. I'm not 100% sure about that yet. I'm a bit vague about this because I don't know where we're going with the pack's finished as far as I can see. Once you almost like once you get to Earth, the pack's finished, the rest is just a list of tasks to do. One thing I really liked about this pack was the what was at the beginning of it when you did the um, the treasure hunt because that was worth doing hard but actually quite good fun to do so what did I want? I wanted some more lithium crystals didn't I? we've got three in there, we've got plenty of dust in here, let's take out this stock that'll be finished of course so we can put some more into here I'm going to put the rest of these into it. I think hopefully I didn't take too many. Oh, I did. That actually takes a while. I should set that up for automation as well. So anytime we get a dilithium from the... I think it's coming from environmental tech actually. It automatically gets processed. Like that. Checking here, I've still only got two of these iridium cells. I'd expect by now we'd have had more. And I don't think it's to do with a chunk of. Because you can occasionally see items coming in here. It is a bit slow. Oh, I've got three now. I've got to talk, about, talk about it, it goes and does it for you. Right, now with 20 XP, we've got enough to go back to the space station. So we can put all of that into there. Let's see how far what that says to us. Still says course data is not ready. Fuel cost 62. Now have I done something wrong on this? I don't think there's anything else we can do actually. Except for give it to lithium. It's got no user interface on it. Hmm. So nothing in the input hatch is all being consumed. Actually, it doesn't look like it's on, does it? Ah, no, it doesn't look like it's on. Oh, that's because it normally has a, a, a more different type of effect. Can I turn it on? No, I can't. 
Do I have to right click this thing? Do I have to give it a redstone signal? Does it have to be outside? I don't remember it having to be outside last time. And there doesn't seem to be anything I can do in here. <laughs> it's got the texture, but you can't break it. What well, strange. Broken that way. Do you know, I'm going to have to look that up. Because it should be doing stuff. I wonder if we have to select the planet again. This is it's not really. I've done something wrong. I can't think what though, because it formed. I don't think it's got any other th any other things on it. Huh. Well, if I break it, I might lose the lithium. So I probably that's why I'm reluctant to break it. Could try opening the roof here, of course. the oxygen's coming out now. I could remove this, even though I don't think it's related to this. Still not ready. Weird. Okay, well, I'll repair this now. I'm a bit stuck. <laughs> Oxygen. So let's put the. Oh, that one. I want. Oh, gosh, I haven't put that there. Right. Oops, I've written another book up. really should make sure I don't put this in my hand. So I'm a bit vague, sorry I don't want to be. So anyway, let's repair this. The climbing glove I've got to be dead spot on, <laughs> otherwise it just jump out the way. Right, and there was a break over here too. Nearer. Right, that should that should automatically work. Oh, I didn't show you what I did here. I disabled this redstone control, um, so it was always on, and I put some scrubbers on here, so it, so it's actually collected some oxygen here. And it does have durability, so when you when it's these are filled up, you have to cook them. Um, I don't know what it tells you about that. Let's just look at the uses of that. Well, you can hit them on the um, what, Dawnstone Anvil. The chemical reactor, that's what you use. If you use a chemical reactor, you get a carbon out of it, which is quite nice, really. An enchantment, I'm not sure why you'd want to have a curse on it. There we are. And it's got a mending, you could put mending on that. Okay, that makes sort of, sort of makes sense, and it would repair itself. I'm a bit bothered about that. I don't know why that won't go. Do I need something else here? There are other bits for this. Let's go back to the overworld base. So, the other bits are, we've got other controllers. I don't know whether we can see them. 
position assembly we've done that one cutting machine lathe we've done that rolling machine we've done that it's assembler electrolyzer chemical reactors scrubbers and oxygen vents docking pads warp cores warp controllers atmosphere detectors we don't need that one as a blocks orientation controller a gravity controller maybe we have to make one of these this is normally required well I'm not sure it is required gravity controller what other ones do we have orbital laser drill gravity control that's a gravity controller a different one that's a beacon Space elevator, which we probably we could actually make, which are they're quite fun actually. This is force field projectors; they're quite fun too. What have we got here? Aluminium plates. Okay, so we've got plenty of aluminium. I think I've already made some aluminium plates actually. Yes, I was making those for one of one of the bits and pieces. So. Could have got the other stuff when I was doing that, wasn't I? Force field projector. This is quite an interesting thing. Copper copper coil. Actually let's make two of these things. Show you what that does at the same time. We can go and charge ourselves up with oxygen as well. You know, I haven't shown you this either, but all you do once you've got everything all set up, you just stand on this and you see the oxygen go straight up like that. Oh, there was another, something else I actually I found out. It was some a tip from Bob the Big Bat. And it was a way to find stuff, and I think in here I've got something I want to find, for example oak saplings, they may be in the system anyway and you know when you press you're entering stuff into the A2 uh, terminal it does funny things to you well, have we got obviously we have got some oak saplings in here so what you can do for example you can press on this one you can hold it and press T and you'll see it made this sort of Puffy bit here to show you that they've got oak sample saplings in here. We'll take one. Um, for example, let's take something else. Let's take a spreadsheet shard. Oops. Even a few more. <laughs> and if we press T on this one, it shows you where they are. I'm not sure what happens if you put it into two places. Let's just try that. It shows you that that one only, doesn't it? Didn't show me the one in here. So that's a good way to find things, and that's how I found the beans. I was going, where have I put those beans? They were cooked beans. I just missed. That's blocked. Cooked food, raw food, wasn't it? I've got these beans here. Less the magic beans. I was going, where can I put those? So I can go look at those. Press T. And that's where I was putting them in with the mushrooms. So let's put those up there. In fact, I think there were some more as well. Actually, there were some more beans, weren't there? Just ordinary beans. And we've got 23 in here too. So that was a great tip. Thanks very much. I, I actually never knew that one. One of those ones that you, you can sort of remember. So we've got these bits and pieces. So let's go back to the space station. What have I got for XP? Not very much. We need it. We need it to travel, and we actually need quite a lot. I think it's like ten or something like that each way. But I've only got to get there because I've got plenty of XP when I get there anyway. So that's not a big deal. And we've probably got some more dust in crystals. Let's go and take those out of this machine. Yeah, 
here. Nearly four stacks. I don't want this. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to pick it up again because I've got my magnet on. It's, good that it's a good idea to have a magnet in space anyway. Oh yes, I didn't show you this. And this is actually really, really cool. I went back to the um, altar where I've got the thing and I enchanted one of these, a diamond pick, this one, with fortune six, which is a pretty good enchant. And that's what I was doing that for. And I hit this one like that. Oops, what did I get? 24. Another 24. You see what? It's an enormous amount of uh, prosperity shots from that. So that uh, is probably worth doing, especially if you're short of resources. So let's put the prosperity shards in here. Ah, of course I've taken them out because I've got no space. <laughs> that again. That was only what four ores or something like that. Ridiculous. It doesn't always give you that. It just really is a luck thing. But of course we can repair this pick so we don't lose it. Just come in here, put it into there. And it's fully repaired again. So let's go back to the spaceship, uh, space station. Wait a few seconds. Oh look, who would have thought you'd get a slime island in space? <laughs> mm -hmm. I did discover it, I was going, oh, what is that? I changed to creative and I thought, what's a funny block, block down there, what is it? So I went and just trundled over and thought, oh, there's actually two, there's actually two. Uh, Ireland's just there. Amazing. So what we can do with this, we can put the other bits and pieces down here. So an orientation controller. I don't think this is going to make any difference to that warp core. Still says not ready. That's something you have to do. That's data. Planet tracking. It can't be. And these things say what they do, so they basically allow you to change the gravity. So it's got artificial gravity of 0.15, which allows you to jump quite high. So you can then change the artificial gravity, so say 10. Oh, that's 0.1. So let's say 0.25. Oh, yes, it says the max charge rate difference is that. So then we should be a little, not be able to jump quite so high. And this one is the um, orientation control, so you can change the orientation. So by moving that around, this thing will tilt, which I actually don't like. <laughs> it drives me bonkers. So we'll leave it and we'll come back again. And of course it's space. So what we can do here, are going to stay like this now? Okay, maybe we have to put it back again. Um, it's these things. I said these are really cool. They are really cool, these things. You can put them down like, say, where am I going to put it? Let's put them at the edge. Don't look like they're doing much, do they? In fact, they're not doing nothing at the moment. Let's go and take one of those levers out to us. If I remember to take them with me. Did I pick them all up or did I leave them in? Oh, I left them inside. Let's put some more to the oh yeah, three inside look. If I can get inside that is, just try that again. All three of them. Oh, they're not making any difference anyway, so I'll take all three of them down. But this one's going to be difficult because I'm moving all the time. Ha! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Break. God. That was hard. <laughs> right, good. So you just put a redstone signal on these. And the redstone signal actually lasts for about three blocks, I think. 
turn it on. Oh, it's doing it that way, is it? Okay. So I have to rotate these. How am I going to rotate these? Maybe an ordinary wrench will do the trick. Turn it off. That seems to be just going in this direction. And you, hmm. Tell you what. See, it's actually treating it like a block. Let's go out of here. I think, if, I'm, if I remember correctly, you can do this. Let's pick this one up here. That looks like the face. Let's just. Oh, oh, that's interesting. I managed to break the lever. That wasn't very clever, was it? Didn't know you could do that. Oh, they see that's now working correctly. This one's just things broken actually. Then you can walk on this. Goes out quite a long way, so it's a way of bridging gaps. And it stays there until you turn off the redstone signal. I think that's broken though, and that should have disappeared. And you can see the faces on this one. So if I turn this one off here, it'll disappear slowly, like that. So that's the active face. That she didn't shouldn't have been there. That's probably why I was, I was having difficulty lining up with the door, and I missed it again. <laughs> oh, I see. I've got to be slightly to the right hand side of this. Try that again. Nope. It's bad enough doing this when you're in the Nether, when you've got pretty good gravity. Ah, got in. Fifteenth <laughs> time lucky. Right, so this is supposed to do stuff and I just don't know whether or not well, I'm doing wrong. Hmm. And I don't want to break it to take it outside. So she now put all that dilithium into it. Actually, maybe some of that's in here. No. Oh, I haven't put it in yet. Let's break it. Oh, and I just broke the window. It's brilliant. Um, I had a big, big breaker window, that one. Okay, let's put this back again. Good. Oh, it does come back. Okay, good. So my inventory being full doesn't help. Let's get rid of this lot. That lever changed to a different type of lever. So I need, where's it gone to? The hollow projector. In fact, I don't need the hollow. You don't need the hollow projector. If you can remember the recipe, you don't need it. Have I broken this as well? Oh, I have, haven't I? Because it says we're in a vacuum. And you have to make, when you're building a space station for oxygen like this one is, so now it's breathable again. What you have to make sure about is that you don't have, you've got to have full edges. You can't have blocks covering blocks. You can't, you, at least you couldn't in the old days. You couldn't do that. So you couldn't have edges. You have to have the full blocks. And slabs are also a bit awkward, right? So we can put it down here, for instance. So what do we have to do? We had one gold block in the middle, didn't we? So that's one, two, three. Let's put it, not there, but let's put it there. I'll use this one, it's not so, it's not so violent as the other one. And we can put on top of this one already. The second one doesn't matter very much. We'll put the controller here.
and then it, it needed around this one it needed structure for, it needed titanium blocks didn't it Good. like that and then we had four structure frames on top of this one and they were in the middle and the top bit was that an input hatch and the rest of it was covered in I'm telling me there's something missing we know that because it's not finished yet and then we can put these down Just have to do it like this. And that's made, good. Now we can come up here and put into the input hatch some of this to lithium, see if it actually makes it work. It's working. Okay, good. Phew. <laughs> So now we're breathable again. So we can actually travel somewhere. Let's have a look. Oh, that's the right one. So we have 1,000 fuel. It's ready. And the cost to go to this one is 60. Let's go. And this is the, this is the view you get when you're actually traveling through here. really cool isn't it <laughs> and that means we've arrived and here's the planet oh and I haven't set the I haven't set the vertical bit back again what have we got orientation controller I think we need to just move this one that way huh no other way let's get it flat again if I can that is have we got another slime island <laughs> that's not right you don't get slime islands in space definitely not Oh, it's not moving then in that case. So we can actually, now normally you'd have a rocket to go down here and I haven't brought my rocket with me, which is possibly a bit bad. So it looks like that does have to be outside or have some blocks above it. I don't know what the exact rule is. I oh, can take this back again. And what we should also do is to get an analyzer for this. We're going up the other way now. And I'm going to go and do my other stuff for getting out and through the door. <laughs> God. Right. Right, let's go back to the, the horizontal. Hopefully it will do. And also let's go back to Earth. So we select the destination again. Earth will probably be sort of far. It's not too far away, I don't think. Oh, there we are. It looks like an Earth, doesn't it? You can double click it as well. That will actually do it. And then up, oh, select. So we can then warp to Earth. So fuel cost is. Oh, we got 999. It costs 101. So we go. So look at what, how we're going again. It looks, see, these things are really cool. <laughs> and I think it does actually matter how far away. In the old version, it didn't matter. It was you were there almost straight away. Oh yes. This thing is travelling with me. <laughs> Whoops, I don't think that's right. So here we are back to Earth again. So we can simply, do you know what we can actually do? You can actually jump out. I don't think I will do, because I don't know where I'm going to land. Ah, oh, actually. No, it is actually interdimensional, so probably isn't a good idea. Overall base, yeah. Also, you can have multiple docking stations on on a satellite on that as well. So let's have a look at do. Actually, let's do that because that's also an interesting thing to do. Uh, so we need a docking station or a docking port, whatever it's called. I'm having difficulty seeing it, of course. Docking pad. This one. Oh, we actually got everything we need. Brilliant. Okay. And this docking pad will allow you to do what's this one that was a docking oh station docking port okay we'll need a satellite bay for that we've probably got already in stock but let's just make another one 
a station docking port the one I wanted. I've got a few of these tracking circuits, I made a few earlier on. That's the one you need for actually returning rockets. Uh, I haven't done that yet. That's for, for example, for astro mining type stuff, I think. And also, you can stick the rocket shuttles and you can then put those into that. What you do with those is you put a linker inside them. Let's go and get a linker out of here. Is that a think? Yes, we can make linkers because they're part of the lib vulpers, strangely enough. They don't stack. They do, of course, in this bag, of course. If I go up to this one, put number 12. I could have put all of this into that, of course. And they'll stack. Because the handy bag lets things. When you've got more than six, it lets things stack, which is pretty good, isn't it? Now, where are we? I'm getting near to the end of my time for this episode. But we might as well have a go at doing this. How much XP have we got? Not enough. Let's go and quickly get some more. And by the way, you hold down the control key if you need to run. XP, so the XP on the top. I didn't notice that before either. Right. Rocket. Well, we need to go to the space station, but we need to come there and back. We need to put down. Oh. That took a second to draw in. It gave me a bit of a, a turn. <laughs> and I've got to get outside again. If I ever can get outside again. So what you can do, for instance, this is a station docking port, and you can give it an ID. So you can say, this is my uh, first port, and target ID. We don't need to do that yet, but just an, it needs a name. And then we can go and create another one. Let's go and do that. Let's see what we'll do. Let's put one on top of here. Um, I need to break the roof if I want to do this. Well, I'd like to break the roof if I want to do this. Let's do that like that. Put that one in there. And then we can give this second. Let's call it roof. That'll do. So then, we can actually go back to Earth and set out, choose where we're going to land. I think we've got enough space here. Probably should have moved that further away. I've done something else with it. Oh, I got in. Wow. So let's go back to Earth. Let's go to the rocket. Now the rocket hasn't got in the space station chip yet. Let's just check destination station one. Now we should be able to choose this one. Now what key did I bind it to? I think I bound it to one of the plus, maybe it was plus key. So yes, so you can select destination. And here you've got none selected because you've got a choice. So you've got two docking stations, so you should be able to clear that. How do I choose this? You should have a list. Station one. Have I done this wrong? Select destination. Clear. None selected. You do have normally lists of these things. Oh. How was our fuel doing by the way? We haven't got we're not full. Why are we not full? So let's make sure this is linked correctly. We should be linking this one. Just right click that to the rocket assembly station machine. That's better. And then that should now be full. But I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's go anyway. We're full up with fuel. We've got everything we need. Can it launch? Oh! Space station is not in the same planet system. Yes, it is. Or is it not? Did I not bring it back to Earth? Do you know? I don't know. Let's just double check that. I need some more XP, of course, because I use up quite a lot doing this 
traveling. Need to eat a bit. Well, that's a bit of a puzzle. I don't get it. Space station. Where are we? Oh, we're orbiting Sol 19. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't. Uh, let's just go back to Earth. Select it. You can do it like that, probably, and then warp. Well, that explains that, doesn't it? <laughs> hmm. It's something that looked like Earth, and I didn't uh, do that right. But at least, you know, you can travel interdimensional for anywhere. That's so funny. With the warp stones. So we should be coming back to Earth fairly soon. And we want to get that rocket across. And that's where I want to show, demonstrate that. Because we've still got enough time to demonstrate that thing. Wow. Don't know how much the fuel is. I think the fuel does quite well actually. Here we go. So now we should be able to we should have enough XP, 16, yep. Yeah. Let's go to a lower base. Oh, I should have gone to a rocket, shouldn't I? So now let's try that again. You can select destination and it's still not got any can't click on this. Let's see if we can press space. Because I'm sure, unless I use the wrong pad, which I might have done of course. The reason I'm taking the rocket up is because I want to put I want the rocket here. Oh that looks really weird. What have I got here? Let's just knock out this block here. Let's see what I've actually got. Station docking port. Okay. So I have got the right one. I think I have. Anyway, let's just double check. Station docking port. Yes, it is. I don't think you need to link it. Can you put the linker inside? You used to be able to put the linker inside one of these. But that was this one, the docking pad. So, for instance, with a docking pad, you can put a linker in it. Let me put that down, say, like this. Then you have this space here. This is actually for the automated thing, so you actually link that to somewhere else, and the rocket that's on this launch landing pad will go to that location, and then you can have a pair, if you see what I mean. But that one should have been seen. I don't know why it hasn't. Unless we have to give it a target ID as well. Let's just give it a target ID too. Let's break this one up. And I have to do that down here as well. I don't think this is for this though. One. Let's get back into the rocket. Go back home. You'll notice it didn't bother fueling it up. I could fuel it up because I've got a tank of fuel with me in one of these in this bag here. And you simply right click this onto that. In fact, one one tank will fill the rocket up. And I really should just reset my X. <laughs> I don't know how. That looks cool, doesn't it? You can also jump off these, by the way. Just press shift and you can jump down. You can do it, they can watch it land. Because I've got the pads on, the paddy boots on. 
And this should be linking it. Let's have a look. Fuel. It doesn't look like that's actually linked together. That looks like that's a, a bug. So let's just fix that quickly. Make sure it's fueled up, ready to go. Might be because I've got something else in here as well. So now, if I um, just right click this, we can, should be able to select the destination, but this list isn't appearing. It might be broken. I don't know. So, this off there. that's it for this episode. Uh, <laughs> just in the background, the smoke from the rocket was coming down. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. I, I'll have to go and check my old videos out, to be honest with you, see what was, why that's not working, if I missed out a step. Anyway, until next time, you know, I'm saying that, I actually don't know, because I've done an hour now, and I think, I'm not sure what to do with this pack, if anybody's got any ideas, let me know. Okay, bye for now.